Hello and welcome to my second episode of Computer Science. And what we are going to do today is binary numbers. Now, as you probably know, a z its binary is a zero or a one. So a zero or one can create any number in the world. And it might be really weird. How the hell can a zero or a one create any number? But then let me tell me you this. The thing that you're watching right now, a video, is made out of a zero or a one. Now that's even more crazy and weird than creating any number in the world. Now, zero one is really magical and really awesome and it is really, really magical how a zero and one can make you start watching this video. Now, you might have heard people talking about, oh, I got a 30 bit, 32 bit processor. No, I got a 64 bit processor or, I got 16 gigabytes of RAM, and all these are based on uh, binary. So now I'm gonna explain how we count. Like you probably never really noticed how we count. That's really weird, but we use the base 10 number system, meaning we have 10 numbers to use. So we have 0 to 9, which is 10 numbers, and basically the base 2 system which is binary only uses two numbers which is a 0 and a 1 and yeah so let me give you an example of a normal number we use 145 so as you can see 5 is then used in a units place as 1 5 and then as 4 tens then 1 one hundredths you should notice that this is all factors of 10 1 is a factor of 10 10 is a factor of 10 and 100 is a factor of 10 now it goes up multiplying by 10 each time so okay this is a nice touch and something I really want to tell you a binary digit is one bit and 8 bits is one byte just want to tell you that now the 8-bit system basically means there are 8 bits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 8 bits in our system now remember how I said our number system goes up in tens 1, 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000 and then I think 1 million yeah 1 million whatever and in the 8-bit system it goes up in twos it doesn't go in 2468, it goes in, it multiplies 2 from the previous number. So 1 times 2 is 2. And then 1 times 2 is 2. Yeah, 2. And then 8 times 2 is 16. 16 times 32 is 64. Wait, I think I had to add a 4 there. Hello, we're back, and I forgot to add a 4 there over here. And what happens is 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 4, four times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, and that's how the places work. Now, let's go into basically paint, and I'll show you it. So we are in paint, okay? So, remember, this is the ones place, and then we go, we increment by multiplying the, its number by 2. And that's how the places work instead of 100 and then 10 place and then the 1 place. That is how our system works, our normal counting system. So I'm going to think of a random, completely random number, let's say 69. All right, and then let's see if we can convert this into zeros and ones, and I'll prove it to you. So let's see. All right. Can 128 go into 69? It cannot. Can 64 go into 69? Yes, so we had a z 1. Now, what is 69 minus 64? That is 5, I think. Also, I'll check that right now. 69 minus 5. Wait, 69 minus 65. Which is 4. Wow. Are you sure? Wait, 69 minus 64 is equal to 5. Yes, it is equal to 5. So now we have 5. Can 32 go into 5? No, it's too big. Can 16 go into 5? No, 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 no. Can 8 go into 5? No. Can 4 go into 5? Yes. And when it doesn't go in, you add a 0. 
All right, you add a zero here. You add a zero and a zero. Can do two go into five? Wait, yes. Now actually, you minus this by one, which now means it is, goes to one. And is this one? Can two go into one? No, it cannot go into one. Can one go into one? Yes. Now, like our number system, we can say, let's make a number called, okay, like our number system is 532. So, it's 5 lots of 100, 3 lots of 10, 2 lots of 1. Here, it's 1 lots of 64, well, 0 lots of 32, 0 lots of 16, 0 lots of 8, and 1 lots of 4, 0 lots of 2, and 1 lots, 1 lot of 1. And what does that make? 64... 64 okay we have 164 and then we have 1 4 plus 1 4 plus 1 1 and we add this together and this gives us 69 which was our number we got above and that is how you count, and that's how you convert from a uh, num normal number we count in into that, which is a zero, one, zero, 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 one, zero, one. And that is basically 69 in binary. Alright, that is 69 in binary. So, let me explain it again, one more time in a dark blue color. So, can 128 go into 69? Can it go in? It cannot. It cannot go into 69. Can 64 go into 69? Yes, it can, because it's smaller than 60, 69. So, we add a 1. We add a 1 here. And then, we take it away, because now we're taking it away. So, can 32 go into 64? Can it? It cannot. It cannot go into 64. It cannot go into 64. Can 16 go into 64? It actually can, actually. Yeah, it actually can. 16 can go into 64. So then, we go there, and then, yeah. Now, 16, my 64 minus 16 is equal to 48. Eight. All right. All right. We're at five, so it's zero. Can eight go into five? No, it's too big. So out of zero, it cannot go into um, five. Can four go into five? Yes, it can. And now we minus four from five, and it goes into a one. Now we have a two. Can it go in? It can. Can one go into five? It can. All right. So that is sixty-nine converting it to uh, binary. Now I'll give you another example of binary. So let's first write out our beautiful places. Then let's do 128, 64, what's that? 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. Alright. Now, let's space this out to make it look nice, of course. Okay. So, let's see. Let's think of another random number. Let's do 96. 96 sounds like a good number. Alright. Now, let's see. Can 128 go into 96? It can't. Alright, it can't, so you cross that out. Can 64 go into 96? Yes, it actually can go into 96. So, we do a 96 minus 64, which is equal to 96. Okay, we're in our calculator now, so 96 minus 64, right? 32. Now, that is equal to 32. So now, let's see, can 32 go into 90, I mean, can 32 go into 32? Yes, it can. And now, 96 
is now 0 because 32 minus 32 equals 0 so we don't need to do anything now because we have our number we want so we add zeros all the way through this is because 64 Okay, we have one lot of 64, right? We have one lot of 64. And then we have one lot of 32. Now, 64, all right, 64 plus 32, okay, 32 is equal to 96. And what is 96? It is our number we started from above. Now, that is basically denary, which is our number system, to binary. All right. And then what we did was convert it back to denary. We find 64 plus it with one loss of 32, and these are discarded. Now. That is my tutorial on binary system, and this is um, one of our computer science videos. Our next one, I'll probably teach you how to uh, subtract and add and like manipulate these binary numbers. And yeah, see you guys next time.